Hello everyone, my name is Jatin Nagi and today we are going to discuss about manufacturing of soft drinks. We have already discussed about soft drinks in our previous video. I would suggest that if you have not watched that video, then do watch it. And please watch this video till end. And if you like it, then please like and share this video and subscribe our channel for latest updates. So let's get started. Manufacturing process of soft drinks consists of these major processes. First is clarifying the water. Second is filtering, sterilizing and dechlorinating the water. Third is mixing the ingredients. Fourth is carbonating the beverage and fifth is filling and packaging. So let's discuss these points briefly. First is clarifying the water. Coagulation involves mixing a gelatinous precipitate or flock that is ferric sulfate or aluminum sulfate into the water. Then the flock absorbs suspended particles making them larger and more easily trapped filters. Then during the clarification process, alkanity must be adjusted with an addition of lime to reach the desired pH level. So this is how clarifying process takes place. So you can refer to this image for further clarification. So let's move further to next process that is filtering, sterilizing and dechlorinating the water. The clarified water is poured through a sand filter to remove fine particles of flock. This is how sand filters looks like. You can refer to this image. Now the sterilization is necessary to destroy bacteria and organic compounds that might spoil the water's taste or color. The water is pumped into a storage tank and endosed with a small amount of free chlorine. Next an activated carbon filter dechlorinates the water and removes residual organic matter much like the sand filter. So let's move further to third step that is mixing the ingredients. The dissolved sugar and flavor concentrates are pumped into the dosing station in a predetermined sequence according to their compatibility. The ingredients are conveyed into batch tanks where they are carefully mixed. The syrup may be sterilized while in the tanks using an ultraviolet radiation or flash pasteurization. The flash pasteurization is basically a high temperature short time uh, processing. It requires a temperature of 71.7 degrees Celsius and pasteurization refers to mild heating to eliminate pathogens and extend shelf life. So this is what pasteurization is. Now which involves quickly heating and cooling the mixture. Fruit based syrups generally must be pasteurized. This is important one indeed. The water and syrup are carefully combined by sophisticated machines called proportioners which regulates the flow rates and ratios of liquid. So this is how the mixing of ingredients takes place. So let's move further to carbonating the beverage. Carbonation refers to the dissolution of carbon dioxide in the beverage. It is done to make the drink effervescent. It is generally added to the finished product. The temperature of the liquid must be carefully controlled since carbon dioxide solubility increases as the liquid temperature decreases. The beverage is slightly over -press, uh, pressured with carbon dioxide to facilitate the moment uh, into storage tanks and ultimately into the filter machine. So this is how the carbon dioxide addition looks like. You can see this, these are the main proportioning. And finally the beverage and COD is added and then the carbonation takes place and lastly the carbonated beverage is out. So let's move further to the last process that is filling and packaging. The finished product is transferred into bottles or cans at extremely high flow rates. This is important and the containers are immediately sealed with pressure resistant closures either tin plate or steel crowns with corrugated edges twist off or pull tabs. So this is all about manufacturing of soft drinks. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.